<laughs> there he is, the man, the myth, the legend. What's up, brother? Good, man. I'm ready to shoot. What'd you bring here? What'd you bring? So, so I, I, have, I have an adapted uh, uh, 35 millimeter Ooh. film lens. So I have, I'm gonna be shooting black and white. Uh, so we'll, we'll see. It's kind of nice to like not have a job, to just go like do whatever. Oh, you got another one? Here's my 50 millimeter. Yeah. Be fun. I've got my 28 on the other one. Okay. I mean, I'm kind of looking tonight to like get stuff that's like different. I would, I almost like there was a sewer with like steam coming out, like you know, just like that kind of stuff, like yeah. just stuff I don't normally shoot, you know. Yep. Try to get real urban with it. I was getting some parking garage uh, shots. What is that? <laughs> nice. <laughs> This is the Fujifilm X100V, and right now, this camera is almost impossible to buy new. It has been backordered everywhere for almost a year, and a big reason why is because this camera does an amazing job of simulating actual film cameras, but it's digital, so you don't have to deal with the headaches of developing the expensive film or not being able to review the shot after you take it. It uses JPEG simulations for actual vintage film stocks, which is the reason why I bought it, as I didn't want to worry about editing the raw photos first, I just wanted something quick and easy. My career is in video creation, but I wanted a fun camera that motivated me to take photos when I'm out on video shoots. Every photo that you saw in this video was taken with my X100V while the video shots were from the Sony A7S III. I used a film recipe from fujiweekly.com called Cinestill 800T, which is a classic film stock great for nighttime photos. There are literally hundreds of film recipes on that website, which I'll link below in the description, and I'm excited to try a bunch more in different types of environments. 
Another item I used to help give lights a film-like halation was a Glimmer Glass One diffusion filter on the front of the lens. This helps bring the photos that much closer to looking like vintage film. I'm not a professional photographer, but if you have any questions about the camera, just leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. I'm going to try to upload to YouTube more consistently, so subscribe if you'd like to see more videos about video and photo. Thanks for watching.